it would have maybe been easier on, on going for a fully autonomous store first and just like looking for an expansion location and just like designing everything from scratch. That would have been easier, would have made my life a lot easier. But we wanted to prove uh, yeah, that the technology can overcome the real time, the real life challenge. So go to an existing location um, and not cut out all the difficult use cases and cut on the assortment. Of course, uh, we needed to change a couple of things here and there, but we wanted to see um, can technology adopt to our stores. Mm -hmm. And at that moment in time, we could not imagine rolling out fully autonomous stores. We wanted to find out, is this technology suitable for changing the way people shop in our regular river stores? Yeah. So we picked a tiny location to make it less complex and just to prove to everyone in our company that this can be done. No one believed it would work. Right. So we showed them, we invited everyone to the opening event saying, you can test for yourself before every customer goes there. Just see that the technology works. And that was our only goal for the first store, really. So, so make it, they, they don't, you don't want everyone arguing, oh, this is not a regular river store. Right. You yeah. cut out all the assortment. Yeah. You don't have the normal things that we would have in a store like that. It's right. still tiny, so it's still a discussion, but you, you want to be as close to reality as possible. Because with the lab store, it will always be like, yeah, it can work in a lab environment. Yeah, perfect environment. But yeah. Perfect environment. Mm -hmm. And and you don't learn as much as when you go right. to a real store. 